Hello, in this section, we will explore the introductory example of the data entry function, guiding you through the learning. The data entry function allows you to write page data to the database, including operations such as adding, deleting, and modifying data. It also supports custom validation of filled-in data, Excel data import, and smart linkage based on filled-in values. Take a simple row-based data entry as an example to explain how to use the Fine Report Designer to design a data entry. The documentation for setting up the data entry function is available in the PPT. You can refer to this documentation for further study after class. The expected effect of the example is to add, delete, and modify different data. The row-based report we are going to create is shown in the figure in the PPT. To design such a report, there are many steps, such as prepare data, design the report, add data entry widget, configure data entry attributes, set template web attributes, and preview the result. Now open the designer, create a new general report, and select database query. Query the top 5 data from the table S product sorted by product ID. Click OK. Then input headers into A1 to I1. And drag the corresponding data columns in the dataset into A2 to I2. Here are two ways to drag data. You can drag them one by one, like this. And the other way is faster. You need to click on the category ID data column, click shift and then select all required data column. When you drag them to the cells, release the mouse, the cell will automatically display several placement options, select from left to right, and you can fill all needed cells. Choose the template theme as compatible theme, select A1 to I1, choose cell attributes, set style setting as theme. Select style of head as small title. Select A1 to I2 and add borders, set color of the cells as sky blue. Set borders for both inside and outside. Click OK and set the text as center alignment. Next, you need to add report widget to add data to the cell. Without data entry widget, the data entry function cannot be implemented. You can choose the type of the widget based on the actual scenario. This time we take the text field widget as an example. Select A2 to I2, choose widget settings in the right panel, and choose text field in select widget. You can set up according to the actual scenarios. If you only want to submit custom data to the database, you do not need to drag the data column into A2 to I2, you can directly add a data entry widget on a blank cell. If you want to submit the data in the dataset to the database without the need to modify or add data, you can drag the data columns into the cells without adding a data entry widget. In this section, you will add, modify, and delete data in the database. So drag the data columns into A2 to I2 and set the cells as text field widget. Then you will set the attributes. Setting attributes is to associate the cells where the data added with the columns in the table of the database. In this way, the newly added data can find its corresponding column in a table of the database. Click on Templates in the menu bar, then choose Data Entry Attributes. Click the plus button, select built-in SQL, select submission type as smart submit, select database is F or demo EN, database table is S product. Choose smart add field to determine the fields that can be filled in. In the report, only the ones that have not been filled will be aborted. 
So uncheck abort and click OK. Click Smart Ad Cells, click A2 and match it with product ID, click B2 and match it with product name, and so on for selection. Click OK. Then choose product ID as the primary key. If you want to modify or delete the data, you need to check one or more primary keys. Function of primary key in here is like where in SQL. Click OK. Then set the template web attribute. Click web attribute, select data entry setting, and choose individually set for the template. Check set background of the row being edited, and set background color as green. And click the delete button on the right side of the top toolbar to remove the default top toolbar. Double click the widgets in the toolbox to add widget to the top toolbar. In this example, we added four custom widgets, including submit, data validation, insert record, and delete record. Default settings can be used for the rest and you can refer to them. Clicking on OK, you have completed the setting of attributes of the data entry preview. Save the template and name it as data entry example, then save it. Click on preview. You can see that there are four custom buttons in the toolbar above the preview interface, including Submit, Data Validation, Add Record, and Delete Row. Select the fifth row, click on Add Record, and you can see an additional row below the fifth row. For example, if you want to delete the fifth row of data, you need to select the fifth row and click on Delete Row. Now the fifth row is no longer in the interface. If you want to modify the data, double-click on the cell and enter the data to be modified. For example, select the first row of apple juice, change the category ID to 6 and submit it, and you can see that it has been successfully submitted. That's all about the example of the data entry, and everyone can study further based on the help documentation after class.